Ukraine didn't violate anything because um, uh, as a country in the state of, of war, Ukraine have to, uh, has to protect its borders yeah. and any any sort of missile or planes or any anything in the uh, in the airspace of Ukraine uh, will be hit. We've been accustomed to not really believing anything Russia says in the past few years, but could the Russians be telling the truth about the plane they say was shot down by Ukraine and carried 65 Ukrainian prisoners of war? Ukraine seems not to be really disputing that account. Katerina Malafieva is a journalist in Ukraine. Uh, Katerina, good morning. Good morning. Um, do Is it now accepted from your understanding that this was a plane carrying prisoners of war and the Ukrainians did shoot it down? It's very hard to tell at this moment. Yesterday, Volodymyr Zelensky, Ukrainian president, uh, in his, again, um, evening appearance, addressed to the nation, uh, he said that he uh, summoned uh, all the top officials of the uh, of the country, Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, Ukra Ukrainian um, generals, uh, commander in chief of the general staff, the head of the security service of Ukraine, and uh, also the head of the state military intelligence. And he emphasized that the most important information, is, the most important is to know, the, to establish the facts, to conduct the investigation. Uh, he also instructed the minister of um, the minister of foreign affairs to to speak to the uh, allies and partners to to inform them about the uh, investigation and um, uh, this situation. So the biggest problem here is that uh, Ukrainian authorities cannot get uh, access to the site to check, verify, uh, and establish the fact of whether the uh, POWs were present on border or not. Uh, um, it's also, mm, you know, from what we've seen in the past uh, almost 24 months since the invasion, since the Russian invasion to Ukraine, uh, there were at least 10 times when Russia accidentally uh, hit uh, with their air defense uh, uh, their own planes. And uh, these facts also used to be. Um, yeah, but it's, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Z Zelensky, when things go well, it's all about him. And then when things go wrong, he summons a variety of officials to, 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 to spread the blame. This doesn't look good, though, does it? Because if it is as advertised, I mean, this is awful for the families of the prisoners of war. It, 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 it doesn't look particularly good for Ukrainian intelligence or, or how Ukraine is conducting the war. It, it, it would be a bad, a bad moment. Uh, in terms of the Ukrainian, uh, of the of the popularity of the Ukrainian president, or the way how Ukraine would look in, in the uh, in the eyes of foreigners, uh, Ukraine didn't violate anything because, um, uh, as a country in the state of war, Ukraine have to, uh, has to protect its borders, yeah. and any any sort of missile or planes or any anything in the in the airspace of Ukraine. Uh, will be hit, right? Because we are protected. You, you know, like that, yeah. the day before yesterday, only 20 uh, projectiles were hit out of 40 because Russia uses extensively ballistic missiles. And uh, 10 people only in Kharkiv, the, the, the big uh, Ukrainian city on the border with Belgorod actually died because of the missile attacks. You know, this, this city is plummeted uh, with uh, Russian missiles um, now uh, since the end of de December, almost like two, three times a day. So, and yeah, state military intelligence shifted the responsibility of, uh, to, to the Russians on that because um, normally in the previous ex uh, prisoners of the exchange uh, swaps, uh, they agreed about, you know, um, careful measures yeah. uh, to so, be applied. So if you're doing a... If you're doing a swap like this, you want to both both sides need to know where everyone is at all times, where the plane is going to be, at what time the plane's going to be crossing into your airspace. And, and they're saying that didn't happen on this occasion. Absolutely. Ukraine stuck to its, uh, you know, responsibilities. They delivered, they brought the Russian uh, POWs to that safe place. You know, it's so secret normally that nobody knows, even journalists are not allowed to, to be taken to this uh, POW sw swaps because everything can can be wrong. So yeah. Ukraine covered them and Russia didn't, you know, comply with their obligations and they didn't inform about uh, planes and airspace, etc. like it used to be before. Yeah, I understand. Uh, and just what's the timescale for this, do you think, Katerina? When, because they won't have access to the site, as you say, 
Um, do you know when there'll be a, a verdict from the Ukrainian government about precisely what happened? Uh, it will. I'm sure that it would take, uh, you know, weeks at least because, yeah. you know, um, there was a situation when Ukrainian uh, plane was shot by the by Iran. If you remember, there is still no uh, justice on that matter. You know, every since that is happening, when you know two side two sides are uh, in tension, uh, it's very hard to verify. And you know, if Russia would allow some uh, representatives of the um, international yeah. organization like Red Cross or anything else like to be present at the site, then it would you know, some ease or facilitate. Otherwise, uh, to believe Russians, we know that we know that it's impossible to believe Russians because they are they not stick to the uh, facts and, and truth. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. We'll, we'll see what comes out of this. It's just a very sad day. However, uh, you look at it, if, if 65 prisoners of war have been uh, accidentally killed. Katerina, good to speak to you. Katerina Malafieva there. She's a journalist in Ukraine.